I'm always inspired by uh, stories. Uh, I'm primarily a storyteller and I like to bring the kind of stories that people don't normally hear out to the forefront. So whether it's uh, documentary films or animation, I like to take risks. And the kind of uh, documentaries I've always made have been about issues that people are afraid to talk about or hesitant to talk about. With Teen Bahadur, uh, I took this paradigm shift because I wanted to create uh, heroes for our next generation. So we have, uh, when I was growing up, we had, um, for example, uh, Anakwala Jin, we had uh, Uncle Sargam, we had all of these uh, television shows that were geared towards children. But now we don't have anything that's specific to children. And our children are growing up with heroes either from the West or even in the East, but from India in terms of cartoons, but no nothing from Pakistan. So Teen Bahadur for me is a movement. It's to start uh, creating heroes, creating characters that children can relate to here in Pakistan. The characters of Teen Bahadur are anybody can relate to them. They could be your next door neighbor, um, they could be kids that you go to school with. Amna, Kamil and Saadi, three children uh, who have superhero powers. Uh, but those powers exist in all of us. It's the power of speed, it's the power of being able to listen, it's the power of um, using their brains and calculation. So there's a lot, uh, uh, you know, what we've tried to do with the kids is give them superpowers that all kids have, heightened cognitive powers. And then, of course, there are the villains, Mangu, who rules over Andhir Basti, that used to be called Roshan Nagar at one time. Uh, and then we have his minions who, who create fear in uh, Andhir Basti. So, you know, the characters uh, will make you laugh, will make you cry, They're, there's passion in them, um, the dialogues that they say, those are the things that you would have heard anywhere. Look, um, I strongly believe that change does not come overnight. And yes, there are lots of risks that come with doing the kind of work uh, when people push the envelope. However, you need to inspire a generation. You need to motivate them into believing. Cartoons allow you to tell stories and do subliminal messaging much more than any other form of filmmaking does. And so, you know, with cartoons, with these superheroes, there's a chance for children to be able to believe in themselves. Um, you know, it's also for them to have hope. Uh, they're, all they watch on television uh, or all that they see um, is violent. Now, Teen Bahadur definitely has elements of violence in it because it's based on reality. But it also has this, this, this power of we shall overcome. Um, and that's something that despite all that is going on, that type of messaging is strong to give to children. Because you can't hide, hide reality for children. They know that it's a violent environment, but the we shall overcome message is a strong one to give. I don't think that there is any programming on television that caters to children. Uh, so children are forced to watch content that is adult driven. Um, that is a travesty. We need to have quality programming for children. And I think it is the responsibility of every single organization um, that runs in, uh, a uh, news media uh, group that they go ahead and they create content. Look, we all have to take risks. We're taking risks by bringing out Teen Bahadur. There is no model for animation in Pakistan. But this risk is not just a risk that we're taking with Teen Bahadur. It's a risk that we want to take for the whole industry. Because if Teen Bahadur is successful, then we are going to kick open the floodgates of the animation industry. And there'll be so many other people who will be willing to take the risk to creating children's content. The success of Teen Bahadur is not just going to be the success of this film. It's going to be the success of an entire industry. And it will give people the courage to take that next step. We have the required technology in Pakistan. We have very talented people. What we don't have is the right type of investment and we don't have patience. In Pakistan, everybody wants to make a film in a few months. Animation cannot be made in a few months. Teen Bahadur is three years in the making. It takes a long time to make a quality animation film. If you have patience, and then I do think quality animation will come out. So. 
for the first time in Pakistan, a film has run a school outreach program. We have reached over 90 schools in Karachi, Lahore and Islamabad. Uh, there is a whole television campaign that ARY is running on Nickelodeon. Uh, we have uh, partnered with brands, uh, English Biscuits, Gluco has gone into uh, the smaller cities of Pakistan, McDonald's uh, with their Bahadur meal. Uh, we've uh, partnered with Gulamat that's taking out merchandise, uh, with Jahangir Books that is taking out games and activity books for children based around Teen Bahadur. The model that we've used is the same that Disney and Pixar have used. I think it's very, very important to, when you create these type of heroes, to take them into people's homes. Uh, it's not just about creating heroes, it's about taking them to and making them come alive for the, for the next generation. You know, um, I'm a very uh, optimistic person. I also believe that if we are to live and work in Pakistan, that we must all try and make this a better place. Um, I think that if we were all to work together, um, and there are some wonderful initiatives that are taking place in Pakistan, then there is bound to be change. It may not happen in our lifetime, but it'll surely happen. I think winning in a, um, Winning an Academy Award uh, has amplified the voices of those people that I feature in my films. It has also given my work a different type of platform and opened a number of doors for me. But I think primarily what, is, uh, what it has done is it has allowed me to experiment and uh, create content that uh, is not limited by geographical borders. You know, uh, I think that uh, as a filmmaker, you have to take risks. You have to take risks when it comes with the kind of stories you tell, whether it's the medium that you experiment with. Teen Bahadur is a risk. I'm coming from a documentary film background, going into animation in a country where there is no model for animation. So there are all kinds of risks. Uh, but I think that when you are willing to throw yourself, when you are willing to, to do that leap of faith, I think that um, you know, people who do that, they have something in them that pushes them to. I've always been that person that has taken a leap of faith when it comes to my work. And I never thought about the, the, the overall risks, risks asso associated with it. You know, I've never thought about the risks associated with it. I've mainly thought about why I want to do it and how far I'm going to go to make that happen. Well, I, I think that filmmakers' uh, potential and uh, filmmakers should uh, work with experienced filmmakers, get internships, work on sets, work uh, on the field, work in offices, gain experience because we don't have any film schools of any merit in Pakistan. Everything has to be learned in the field um, and proper internships and apprentices would really help and go a long way. Look, Pakistani cinema is in its infancy. Uh, we will find our own voice. It will take a little bit of refinement to get there. But I think that we've taken some very positive steps. There are so many young filmmakers coming, uh, um, coming to the forefront. We also have so many experienced filmmakers who were perhaps making advertisements before or working in another shorter medium that, uh, that are experimenting with the longer form. I think that the more films Pakistan makes, the better it is for our film industry. Right now, I'm not concerned about good, bad, indifferent. I'm just thinking about, we make films, get it out there, let people hone their skills, and with time, quality will come, and so will our voice get more refined. I think uh, so far, uh, when it comes to local films, uh, one of my favorite films was Zinda Bhag. Uh, I think it uh, really was one of the first few films that came out. It shattered a lot of stereotypes we had about Pakistani films and um, it was overall one of the funniest films I've ever seen that's come out of Pakistan. You know, very good humor, very well written. Um, internationally, of course, there are so many films that I'm uh, uh, a fan of, but I'm mostly a fan of Michael Winterbottom's films. I believe that the way he shows reality in his fiction films um, is very appealing to me. You know, um, to me, the most inspiring celebrity that I've ever met, uh, in fact, two of them. I mean, one of them is John Stewart, uh, who I recently shared a panel with, and um, the other is Amir Khan. Um, 
you know, I think both of them are doing phenomenal work uh, in their field uh, and they are um, helping to push the conversation forward and talking about difficult issues and using their stardom and their celebrity status to start national conversations um, that are very important for both those countries. My heroes are the ordinary men and women uh, who are risking their lives every single day for a better tomorrow for their communities, whose names and voices uh, we may not know um, and we may not have heard, but who are toiling away to ensure that there is change. Um, and I see them often in my line of work and they inspire me to go forward. You know, Teen Bahadur is just one of many animation films that we are planning and uh, we will be working on uh, Teen Bahadur Part 2 and a number of other animated films. I've just released a, a film called Song of Lahore, which premiered at the Tribeca Film Festival and was a runners-up for the Audience Choice Award. And um, we are now releasing a film I've done in Bangladesh over the last two and a half years called Peacekeepers, about the world's first all-women, all-Muslim peacekeeping unit. You know, Teen Bahadur um, is family entertainment and uh, the characters are the ones that parents and children both will fall in love with. And I would say that go out, watch the film and support not only Teen Bahadur and its vision, but support Pakistan's animation.